how are you? We are fine, and how are you, sisters? We are fine. Sit down. Thank you, sisters. This is time for geography. And uh, before we start the everything, I have something to show you. And we are first going to try to identify the things. I have this specimen. I don't know whether you can see from afar. What's this? We, we don't give the responses as if it is a choir, but we need the answers, individual answers. Anybody who knows what this has to raise hand and then give us the answer. Yes, Moko? Soil. That's right. This is the soil. This is what again. Last step, I have one more. Let's give a chance to a girl to identify this. Yes. Stone. Stone. Or S, we can call it a rock. Now, apart from these three, you can just use the windows. Which things can you see from uh, through the windows? Yes. Trees. Trees. And at mass. Yes. House. Houses. Or the correct buildings. <laughs> what name can you give? The correct name for all those things. Yes. What? That's right. So we can say environment. This in their natural setting, we may say that's an environment. And this lesson is about the environment. <laughs> at a small scale or at a low level as well. Now this time we will be a bit advanced on the same issue. But before that, may I give you as individuals an opportunity to think of what an environment is as an individual. Think of it. What is an environment? Just for the sake of reminding each other. Because we are not discussing a minute. A minute? Now, if you have the answer, can you share with your friend? You say, what you have? Can you share with your friend? What you have? <laughs> Things surround us. Let's see what an environment is. Whatever surrounds us is an environment. And indeed, you may see that the environment is an issue that needs to dictate our day to day activities. That's why we are taking this environment issue to be under discussion today because we know that it can affect us in one way or the other. Then, in relation to that, what we are going to cover in this lesson is to say we have to look at the, some of the activities, some of the human activities that endanger the environment. And then, after that, we may also go as far as the, to think of possible effects of the environment. And then, after knowing the effects that may come because we have violated the environment, we may also at the same time think of the possible conservation measures. Because we know that the adjacent is that the environment is very important to us as human beings as well as the animals. Then that's why we have to go by those three areas. Now, with this, the approach will be, I will be giving you tactics, three of them, but we will handle those tactics one at a time. And uh, with this, let's uh, just be in uh, groups. And for the sake of time, those who are close to each other, they can just face each other. We can just have maybe six per group. <laughs> As we are discussing, 
received the download notes and we need to have a reporter from each group. So don't get worried if you have three or you have four or you have two other groups will supplement. So we we'll just go by the groups. We will hear from group one, group two, group three, and nine. As the human activity. Yes, group one. Just read what is there. Who are finding it? There is no, there is no cutting down trees carelessly, but what we are saying is deforestation. Okay, thank you. How we see it? Let's have group two. Setting bush fire. Setting bush fire. Group three. Overstocking. Overstocking. Group four. Poor waste disposal. Group five. Shabu Benny. Six. Misusing of pesticides. Degradation, nobody else. As you can see, the list here, none of these is a natural event. All these are contributed by a human being. Therefore, we need at least to take care of the environment because out of this, we expect something which might be contrary to our living on earth. That's why you find that if we may look at all these activities, we find that in turn, or out of these activities, we may face the consequences or we may face the problems due to what we are doing ourselves as the human beings. So it's activity number two, which is demanding us to come up with the possible effects. We have this again for five minutes. So this is quarter to eight. So by ten to eight, we have to get the responses. We have five minutes again. Rainfall. Next. What? 
Drought. Drought. What's the difference? Yes. How? That's the move of the topsoil. As the topsoil is going over, is going out, they may expect that the, the fertility may also fall soon. Which group then? Yes. The extinction of some species. Some species. Loss of biodiversity. Loss of biodiversity. We are looking at animal and plant species. They can get missing. That's an extinction. Ah, uh, sir, that's yes. some part. Yes, you said there's a difference between soil erosion and loss of soil fertility. We can just say soil erosion is the process by which soil fertility may get lost. Loss of fertility? How? Loss of fertility was the, the topsoil is the being removed or carried away by the runoff. We expect that the because much of the humus is found on the surface. Therefore, as the topsoil is being removed by water, running water, or by wind, or by ice, if anything ice, then we expect that the soil of fertility may go out. But it's not only that, and also we can think of this reaching, if there might be heavy rains, some of the mineral elements may go deep in the ground. Yeah. In the other way, can we say? Loss of course, soil erosion yes. can be both. We can lose. It's a, something what we have to, to take a step in order to conserve the environment. That's why in the beginning we said that the possible, upon knowing what we can do with endanger to destroy the environment, at the same time let's come up with the, what would be the effects. And then upon that we have also to be equipped with the skills. How can we control? How can we minimize? How can we preserve this environment such that we should not meet these challenges? We should not meet these problems. Because we know that by this we might be in problems. Let's say, for example, if we talk of loss of soil fertility, already it means that we will end up having low yields. So, upon having raw yields, definitely we may say there will be hunger, whereby there will be malnutrition, and thereafter we may have the deaths of people, more especially the young ones. As the elder people, we can, maybe you can survive a bit, but you talk of the young ones, if there will be malnutrition, there will be the first victims, and this will be sourced from destruction of the environment. And we talked about the global warming. This issue again is something that disturbs the world. If there's a drought as it has been put over there, we have low yields. If you have heavy rains, and we know that some of the crops might get swept off, and we end up having a little in terms of our harvest, and we cannot support ourselves. So we can go up to that end. We'll see, indeed, this environment has to be taken care of and uh, at this point let's finalize by thinking over what we can do such that our environment should get protected our environment should always be intact let's finally share on that then we have activity three as our last activity we'll see that in five minutes Let's minimize the noise. Because we are at one point as a group, there's no need to make to speak, to discuss on top of our voice. Let's just minimize the noise that we need to each other for a second. In the first activity, we started this side. In the second activity, we started by that side. Then in this third activity, we will start from here. We'll go by this, then that side, 